Seventy percent of the carbon dioxide which travels through the blood does so in the form of bicarbonate. In the tissues, carbon dioxide enters the blood. Some of it will travel as a gas all throughout the blood to the lungs. Some of it will travel bound to hemoglobin and then become a gas at the lungs. Some of it, however, will be converted to bicarbonate. What happens is that carbon dioxide and water will combine to form carbonic acid. Now this will happen anyway, but red blood cells produce an enzyme called uh, carbonic anhydrase which helps this occur much more quickly. So carbon dioxide and water become carbonic acid. Carbonic acid will then dissociate to become hydrogen ions and bicarbonate. And it is this bicarbonate which will then travel through uh, the blood to the lungs. In the lungs, bicarbonate will once again reunite with hydrogen ions to form carbonic acid and once again carbonic anhydrase, the enzyme of red blood cells, will help the process. So bicarbonate and hydrogen ions become carbonic acid. Carbonic acid can then dissociate to become carbon dioxide and water and this carbon dioxide can then diffuse out of the blood into the air sacs and thus be exhaled. So in the lungs the reverse process occurs where bicarbonate and hydrogen ions become carbonic acid which become carbon dioxide and water so that the carbon dioxide can be exhaled.